mosque with dozens of domes. Ponds filled with fresh water. The man who built all this is highly respected by the people here. The majesty of Khan Jahan, historic mosque city of Bagarahat. The coastal region of southwestern Bangladesh, a great delta plain, and home to the remains of a city that dates to the 15th century. This mosque was made in the popular Turkish style of the time. It has a characteristic dome on top. The building is made of brick. This delta area is short on stone, so instead, local clay was shaped and fired into bricks. These beautiful curves, which resemble stone architecture, were achieved through skillful processing of the brick. This large pond is also man-made. Due to its proximity to the sea, underground water here tends to be salty. Using dams, artificial ponds like this were created to collect rainwater for drinking. Local people believe that the water from these ponds has special powers. This water can cure disease. It's true. And another thing, it's able to release people from any bad fortune they may have. This belief stems from the respect locals have for the Turkish general who founded this city. His name was Ulu Khan Jahan. Khan Jahan is believed to have come here to claim territory and spread the teachings of Islam. There are many legends about the general. He built this mosque in one night and then dug the pond. He made 360 mosques and 360 ponds in just one day. He did. Building 360 mosques, in fact, took several years, but it was nevertheless an amazing feat of construction. Shahid Gumbad Mosque is perhaps Khan Jahan's greatest achievement. It is still one of the largest mosques in Bangladesh. And it is still in use as a mosque today. In the old days, it was also a center of political power. The roof is covered with 77 small domes. It is thought that they made many small domes because they could not make one large dome with brick. Meanwhile, the columns supporting the ceiling were made of stone. This is the only remaining original column. It is not known how the stone was transported here. Some say Khan Jahan brought it all the way from India using his supernatural powers. As Islam spread across the region, Khan Jahan became a revered, almost mystical figure. He ruled this area for over 30 years. Tomb of Khan Jahan still receives many worshippers. People continue to pay tribute to the majesty of a great man.